Welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, we are going to talk about setting DSCP or what some people call diff serve uh, class of service bits uh, using an ACL. So um, there's multiple ways to set uh, diff serve bits, um, uh, but this is probably the most flexible is you know we can use an extended ACL so as packets come in or as they go out but most likely as they come in we can use an extended ACL and match on source IP or or destination IP or you know TCP or UDP port number or any parameter in an extended ACL and then set the appropriate uh, uh, DSCP bits so um, you know we'll have an example here of you know we'll set um, a DSCP value for anything that that is HTTP traffic or you know from a particular subnet that's FTP traffic we set to a different value and anything that doesn't match those then we can set it um, you know uh, with a with a permit IP any any and we'll just set it to a different value altogether so um, let's see how that works so config T so this is just a regular extended ACL right Ex access list uh, 105 let's say and then we permit because we're interested in that traffic we don't want to deny so we want to permit that and let's do a um, TCP any any equals port 80 or HTTP and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a DSCP marking right so DSCP dash marking and we're gonna mark it with a value so we'll mark it with a 43 yeah then access list 105 will permit um, let's say from a particular host so 1.1.1.1 to any destination equals FTP and then we'll give that a DSCP marking uh, of uh, I don't know 20 it doesn't really matter for this example right uh, access list 105 permit um, I don't know we could do a, a UDP port as well um, from any source to a particular subnet and we need a usually we need a reverse mask but um, and then uh, I don't know equals 163 for the UDP port and then uh, DSCP dash marking um, 50 and then lastly we need to permit IP any any at the end so or else we're gonna drop all the traffic that's not permitted here um, this is it works like a regular ACL so you got to remember that implicit deny and then we'll do a uh, IP any any and uh, just out of interest we will mark that with a you know um, I don't know a value of 60 Okay, so we've got our ACL. Um, so we are permitting um, any HTTP traffic and marking it with a 43. We're permitting FTP traffic from a particular host to anyone else and marking it with a 20. Um, we're marking UDP traffic on port 163 from any source to that destination subnet and marking it with a 50. And then we're permitting anything and um, marking it with a DSCP value of 60. So then lastly we need to go to the interface that we want to apply it on and it could be multiple interfaces of course but I'm just gonna choose one um, now DSCP is turned off by default right we honor 802.1p or class of service by default so what we want to do here is we want to trust DSCP so this is going to allow us to honor DSCP bits coming into that port then we're going to apply the access group so access dash group uh, 105 five and you could do in or out we're going to do inbound we care about into this port and that's it so um, easy very flexible and uh, you know very granular way of marking DSCP there's other ways to do it of course you could do it on a per port basis you can have the end user the devices that are sending us traffic mark but if you wanted to mark um, say you wanted to mark all of your uh, all of your IP voice traffic you could do that you know simply by um, marking to the to the destination you know uh, if it's going to the PBX for example you could mark anything going to that PBX with a particular you know high DSCP value something like that but anyway 
uh, that's it, and uh, thanks for joining. Take care.